Hey everyone, my name is Daniel, and today I'm going to show you step by step how to create an Alexa skill using OpenAI. We're going to turn your Alexa into something really amazing. To begin with, gain access to the online Alexa developer console and log in. It's crucially important that you use the exact same account that you are currently using on your Alexa device. This is necessary so that you can effectively test the skills on your Alexa later on, ensuring they work as intended. After you have successfully logged in, you will be able to see all of your existing skills that you have previously set up. Now let's create a skill from scratch. In this part, we can choose a really cool name. Since I'm a fan of Iron Man, I'm going to name my skill Jarvis. After that, go to the next page. On this page, select the type of experience. In this case, we'll opt for others, since we'll be building from scratch and without a single purpose to perfectly suit our needs. Here we can choose Customized, since we'll be doing it from scratch. For hosting, we're specifically going to choose hosting in Python to use the various resources provided by Amazon itself, like storage and database services. Once you finish this part, let's move on to the next. For this process, carefully and deliberately select the appropriate draft option before proceeding to the subsequent step. In this particular part, we can easily create our unique skill. This will just take a few minutes while AWS sets everything up for us a little. Once it's done, I'll be back here. All right. Once the initial setup is done, we can start customizing. Simply go to the invocation name settings and easily set how you'll call your skill in the menu. In my case, I'm definitely going to absolutely use super mode. So whenever I simply want to just use my agent, I'll say Alexa, super mode. Keep in mind that, in this case, it is important to note that the invocation name must meet some minimum requirements. After completing the previous steps, we can proceed to save the current configuration or settings. Now the next step involves navigating back to the main interface and heading over to the Intents tab, which is an essential part of the process. In this tab, you'll... You can delete it. Let's create an intent called GPT Query Intent. Here in the part that will specifically invoke this intention, we can add a query. Then simply click on plus, which will just automatically and effortlessly be filled in below in a straightforward manner. Then, we'll choose exactly what specific type of data we're going to capture. In this case, let's simply examine for Amazon person, which is the user's interaction with Alexa. All right, once we have completed that step, we can save our progress. After saving, we will proceed to build and enhance our skill, ensuring everything is set up correctly for the next phase. This will take a few minutes. Once it's just finished, I'll be back here to talk to you again. Hello again, everyone. Well, everything's wrapped up nicely here, and I hope everything went well on your end too. Once this part is done, we can now move on to the code, which will be the heart of our skill. You can select everything and delete it, no problem, because we will rewrite everything. The first thing we're going to do here is list all the libraries we'll need in the requirements, which are essential for the project. How's it going? I've already set aside the libraries we'll need for this case, ensuring everything is ready and organized. Don't worry, I'll make this information available to you, so you can access it whenever you need. Now we're back here once again as we previously discussed in the part of our function. 
In this segment of our tutorial, we are going to carefully import all the necessary components and libraries required for constructing and developing our skill. This step is, to give you a comprehensive overview, the most important and significant parts are OpenAI, which is a leading organization in the field of artificial intelligence. We will use their advanced AI technology to create and develop our intelligent assistant. Additionally, we have DynamoDB, which is a highly reliable and scalable AWS database service. This will be crucial for efficiently managing and operating our assistant. Now let's go to the start of the code. First, we're going to initialize all the external services we need. As you can see, I'm initializing DynamoDB and OpenAI down here. This way, we already have all the services available for our application. Alright, now after firstly initializing all the services we're going to use, let's start creating the essential functions that will ultimately make our skill work seamlessly with GPT. The first function or class we're going to create will essentially be the class that's called whenever we invoke this skill. You can notice that this first class is essentially responsible for primarily saving the assistant ID and the thread ID that we have from OpenAI. This way, we can effectively keep the chat history of our agent. The prompt part is very absolutely essential for it to work. Unfortunately, as you may know, when using Alexa, we have approximately a 10 second timeout. For that, I'm going to create a prompt that's really indeed very simple so that we can make sure our response happens in less than 10 seconds. Here you can see that I thoroughly provided all the necessary information and additional details and context for it to be an English agent for us. And at the end I made it very clear that it has to be very brief in its responses. This way, it won't use much processing to generate the tokens for us. Alright, the next part is going to be the function that will handle all the requests we make. This class will be the one specifically responsible for connecting to OpenAI every time we make a request to Alexa in order to efficiently handle the process. As you can clearly see right here on line 47, we have the GPT carry intent. This is related to that intent we created earlier in the video, as you may recall, which is a crucial part of our discussion. The next class we're going to create is a very simple, indeed basic, error handling class. This class will handle generic errors, such as those that might occur in our code. The next step is indeed to carefully set all of this up within our Alexa environment. Alright, now we have everything finished. By default, I already press save, but you can click here to save and your code will be saved. This is important to ensure that your work is not lost and can be retrieved later. The next step is to send this to production, which is a crucial phase because it allows us to test the code thoroughly. I'm going to click here and now this will take a few minutes. Please be patient during this time as it is an essential part of the process. As soon as it's done, I'll come back here so we can continue. Alright, it's finished. Now we can test our skill. Kindly, please click on the test now at this moment. Alright. Once this testing part is just loaded, we can try to test our skill. Remember that we gave it an invocation name. In order to proceed, we are required to utilize this particular name. Yes, this name is crucial as it will be used to call and activate our skill. This step is, in my case, it's super mode. All right, the skill has been started. From this point forward, every interaction we have with Alexa will be directed to our skill, ensuring all commands and requests are handled accurately and efficiently. I'm going to ask, for example, how to use pronouns.
Here we have an example of a response. To get started, grab your smartphone and open the settings. Connect to Alexa by following the prompts. Once connected, browse through the menu to find and select the skills you want to explore. As soon as you access the area for your skills, you can set this skill as one of your Alexa skills. Alexa, super mode. Chat GPT mode activated. Hi. Hello. How can I help you today? How to use pronouns? Pronouns replace nouns, like he for John. And what is your name? I'm your language tutor AI. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. It was a pleasure having you here in the video so far. Thank you so much for your attention. Remember, AI. It's a new future and the future is already today. If you could provide any of your valuable feedback, comments, and thoughts so I can improve, I'd really appreciate it. See you later.